We're talking about systems of equations. I feel like Wolverine. <laughs> Marvel this. No, um, yeah. Systems of equations. All right, we're talking about the interaction between two lines. There are three different ways that two lines can interact. Fine. First way, they can intersect. The second way, they can never intersect. They can be parallel lines. And the third possible interaction to complete our trifecta is they can be the same line. Oh, that's a squeaky line. And that's line one here. Is line two? We see that they lie right on top of each other. They just happen to be the same line. Yeah, all right, let's take a look at this. If lines cross, then there is a solution. Here, we have one solution. That one solution is a point. Very nice. Um, if a system has a solution, it's said to be consistent. Great. So if a system has a solution, at least one, it's said to be consistent. My second interaction. Do these two lines ever intersect? No. So there's no point of, what do you call it? Agreement? Yeah? They're never the, at the same spot at the same time. So these guys never intersect. So there is no solution. Sure, For if two lines never intersect, then there's no solution. They're never gonna agree. And if a system has no solution, it's called, if it has a solution, it's called consistent. If it doesn't have a solution, it's called inconsistent. Good stuff. Let's look at our third interaction. What if they agree everywhere? Hmm, very agreeable system. Yeah, this is a um, no solution. A system is consistent if it has at least one solution. This system seems to have an infinite number of solutions. Yeah, it's important to point out that not every point is a solution. This point here is not a solution of that system because it doesn't lie on either one of the lines. This point, however, is a solution because it lies on there. And so is this one. And so is this one. And so is this one, and so is this one, and so is this one. Any point that lies on that or those lines is a solution to that system. There is an infinite collection of points in a line, so there are an infinite number of solutions. Along that line, this is the only point that lies on both those lines. Here, there are no points that lie on both those lines, mm, you know, at the same time. 
Here, there's an infinite number of points that lie on both those lines. I gotta run the colors out of this purple. There we go. Purple dot. So let's have the discussion. Is this consistent or inconsistent? That one over there. Does it have at least one solution? Yeah, it has an infinite number of solutions. So then what is that? Consistent, for sure, for sure. Let's go a little bit further. All right, so that's consistent. We can see. Um, how are we gonna tell this system apart from that system? All right, now we're talking about the dependency of lines. If the lines in your system are the same line, they're dependent. Further, if they're dependent, then they have the same equations, or at least are multiples of each other. This is dependent, dependent. Sure, let me reiterate. If they're the same line, they're dependent. Are these the same line? No, they're completely different lines. They just happen to be going in the same direction. These are I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. -E -E Do you know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own car. Two jobs. Work hard. I sure hope that guy comes out with another song. Whatever. Right, why were they independent? Because they weren't the same line. That was dependent. They are the same line. Flashback. Same line? No, I didn't think so. Look, they're not even going in the same direction. So if it's not the same line in your system, then this is said to be, that's right, dependent. So there you go.